is it's raining outside. I figured it'd probably be about time to uh, do the oil change on this old foreman. Uh, 450. Uh, probably about due to be fair. I think it's got about yeah 43,000 kilometers on it. So why break the habit? I may as well continue to look after it. 3,000 miles uh, hours. Sorry. So someone's definitely done the uh, the changes. I always use this. Morris Grand Force ADV oil, 10W40. Uh, it's wet clutch safe, so the main reason I use it. Stops them slipping and burning up prematurely because that can be pretty costly. Uh, I always use these as well. High flow filters. They're really cheap, but I find they do the job well. Especially if you change it quite often, it doesn't really, uh, doesn't really matter. But uh, I always drain it into one of these as well. Cut a uh, hole in the top. There's never enough oil in these things to fill them up, so. Uh, they sort of fill halfway and then you can unscrew the cap and pour it into a bottle. <laughs> you don't have to bother cleaning a pan then, just take it just straight down to the dump. But uh, the oil in this I don't think is too bad. Well, it doesn't look too bad anyway. It's uh, Yeah, well I've seen better but it's not awful. I had a no line grizzly just did it and had the oil change in 6,000 miles and that wasn't fantastic except the original oil filter on it. So yeah, I think someone's reasonably looked after this but I don't know if that's just Honda quality or what, but... Filter goes straight in there, just three uh, look like 8mm bolts. So. I've never done it on this, so uh, I'll video doing it. <laughs> just see properly what it is. Uh, drain plugs underneath, obviously. There it is. Looks like uh, maybe 17mm. I normally take these pans off, because uh, it dumps all in there and it uh, can solidify. So if anyone comes to buy it, it looks like it's leaking oil. In this case, I probably won't. I think the hole's probably big enough, to be fair, but we'll see. So I reckon I'll uh, start the bike and get it changed. Come on. You never need to run up a long couple of minutes, you'll just do. Still doesn't smoke. Okay, so she's all warmed up. You can see I've got my uh, hole cut on the top of this. So uh, let's see if we can drain it out. Might be a little awkward holding a camera at the same time. But I'll uh, I'll give it a go, otherwise I'm gonna have to pause the video, but let's see. It's on the right way, is it? Yeah. It uh, it was a 17mm after all. I'll turn it away. Right. <coughs> Come on then. No, I said I was going to wear gloves, but I couldn't find any, so... I should probably uh, invest in a tripod, I reckon. Oh, that might make uh, things like this easier. See that? No, not quite. Just trying to get it so I don't slosh all over your hands. There we come out. Okay, I'll pause it. It's going to be easy. Okay, so the oil's all out of it. It uh, doesn't look that bad. Can't see any uh, metal flakes floating around in there or anything like that. Doesn't look milky. Although <laughs> it won't anyway because it's all cool, but. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's time for the, uh, the filter now, as you can see. Better put that under there, actually. It's, uh, I've already cracked the nuts off to try and make filming it easier. It's, uh, it's, there's definitely a spring in here. Cause you can tell it's spring-loaded. These, uh, these were your 8mm bolts as well. You'll have to work with me on the um, shoddy quality for a bit. The camera's okay, but... It's the first time I've really tried to film myself doing anything, so it's uh, it's not turned out too well, to be honest, but hopefully it's still watchable. Come on. Yeah, there's a spring. And there's the old filter. Leave that spring in there, I think. I don't think that's going to do any harm in that. Should look like. Uh, 
not too bad. You can probably not tell, but it, you can sort of still tell there's colour in there, which is, uh, you know, there's no sludge. How much do we do it go in? Yeah, that way. Brand. Stick the new filter in. <laughs> it looks a bit better, doesn't it? So, so it goes in this way. So that side goes into the machine, this side goes into the cover. There we go. Then it's obvious which way this goes back on because there's only a one corner to it. Okay, so here I'll pause the video again until we're ready to fill her up. Okay, so the drain plug's back in, the uh, new oil filter's back in. Uh, I don't know the torque settings on this, so I've just done the hand tight and then a little bit more, just like a spark plug. Well, maybe a bit more than the spark plug, but I will look them up in the manual pretty soon. I'll drop them down in the description when I do look them up. But uh, yeah, the last stage, just fill up your oil. Uh, there's no other place other than the drain plug to put it, oh, not the drain plug, the uh, dipstick hole to put it in through this. Uh, I'm hoping it doesn't take too much oil, because like I said, I've only got about three litres left in this bottle. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so it looks like I got away with it. It's, uh, it's on the full mark at the moment, and there's not a lot left in this oil can. Probably can't see that, but... It's worth noting with this bike, you do need a uh, funnel. A lot of them you can get away without it, because where the, where the gear stick is on this, it uh, does require it. As you can see, you measure the oil on this bike by not screwing it on at all, just taking it straight in. It's almost bang on the full mark. So your, your last stage now is to start it up, run it, maybe take it a little ride, not far though. Let it cool down and check your oil again. And once you've done that, your oil change is done. It's worth noting some people change the uh, O-ring on the dipstick. And also, what I failed to mention earlier, is there's a little O-ring just there. Behind there there's a little uh, circular seal and there's an O-ring there. Don't lose that when you uh, change your oil. So again, you can change that if you want, but I'd never bother. I've never had trouble with uh, that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, there'll be a lot more videos to come. Uh, next video is going to be serving us in one of them things. Or ripping the engine out that crap out mower. <laughs> and stripping it down, but yeah, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.